The Royal Navy's next attack submarine is one step closer to entering service after completing a major milestone. The Navy's newest hunter-killer submarine HMS Anson has completed what a submarine should do, submerge, for the first time. The fifth astute class boat, 1.3 billion pounds of cutting-edge underwater naval power and technology, has successfully come through her first dive in the safety of a dock in Barrow. The trim dive, carried out over two days, allows architects, experts and engineers calculate the boat's precise weight, stability and center of gravity, all key factors in Anson's performance, when she formally joins her four older sisters already in service with the Royal Navy's submarine flotilla. Long and wide enough to accommodate a Royal Navy nuclear submarine, even at 25 meters, 82 feet, it's not quite deep enough to cover an A-class boat entirely, but it does leave only the conning tower and tailfin protruding from the cold waters of the Devonshire dock. Commanding officer of Anson, Commander David Bing Crosby, said, the trim and basin dive is a key step in the commissioning of HMS Anson. This period will enable us to set the boat's internal weight, prove her watertight integrity, test sensors and put some of our systems through their tests ahead of sailing for the first time. A trim dive is essential to help engineers establish the vessel's center of gravity and precise weight, with more than 60 crew members and tons of ballast on board to help test stability. HMS Astute, HMS Artful, HMS Ambush and HMS Audacious are the other Astute class subs to have gone through similar testing before commissioning into the Royal Navy. HMS Anson is set to be the fifth in line, and the final two, HMS Agamemnon and HMS Agincourt, are at different stages of construction at the Barrow Shipyard. HMS Anson, the fifth of seven Astute class attack submarines built for the British Navy, was launched at the BAE system site in Barrow and Furness Cumbria on 20 April 2021. The 7,400 ton nuclear powered submarine, officially named at the ceremony in December, emerged from Devonshire Dock Hole and entered the water for the first time. The launch was a special moment for the Barrow Shipyard, which is celebrating its 150th year and a long and proud relationship with the Royal Navy. The Astute class submarines are the largest, most advanced and most powerful attack submarines ever operated by the Royal Navy, combining world-leading sensors, design and weaponry in one multipurpose vessel. The Astute class is the Royal Navy's most advanced nuclear-powered attack submarine and the successor of the previous Trafalgar class. The first of the class, the Astute, was launched in 2007. Though the class is approximately 50% longer than the Trafalgar class, it supports a smaller crew due to higher operation automatization. Thanks to its weapons suite, sonar package, and other onboard technologies, the Astute class is one of the most advanced submarine designs in the world. The Astute class is capable of carrying Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles, cruise missiles and spearfish heavyweight torpedoes. The Astute class's onboard weapons array is impressive. Astutes are equipped with six torpedo tubes that can fire 533mm spearfish torpedoes. These heavyweight torpedoes travel in excess of 150 km an hour, or about 92 miles per hour while underwater, and were originally designed to intercept fast Soviet submarines. They are triggered by contact with an enemy hull, or by using an acoustic listening device, are capable of detonation below a ship's hull to maximize blast effect. Though the Astute class does not have vertical onboard missile silos, it is nonetheless capable of firing American-made Tomahawk cruise missiles. Tomahawks are also fired from the Astute's torpedo tubes. These missiles are ejected inside watertight containers, which launch the missile into the air once contact with the surface, is made and can strike targets up to 1,000 kilometers or over 600 miles away. Interestingly, the Astute class have Forgan traditional periscope masts in favor or two shorter and more compact optronic masts. These new masts are essentially video cameras capable of thermal imaging and feed to higher resolution video monitors. They are also stabilized, ensuring their use in rough, pitching seas. In addition to a bow sonar array, the Astute class also carries a towed array and flank arrays on both the starboard and port sides. The Astute class's sonar has been mentioned as one of the best in the world. 
In addition to advanced sonar, the astute class is covered in tens of thousands of anechoic tiles, essentially rubberized tiles injected with air cavities that adhere to the sub's hull and are designed to absorb enemy sonar and reduce a submarine's sonar reflection. Since the astute class are nuclear-powered, they have virtually unlimited range. Endurance is limited only by crew requirements, namely food and water, which must be replenished once every 90 days. Onboard purification systems filter both water and air and allow the astute class to circumnavigate the world without needing to surface. Since the astute class is nuclear-powered, they have an almost unlimited range. Durability is limited only by crew requirements, namely food and water, which must be refilled once every 90 days. The onboard purification system filters water and air and is capable of producing their own oxygen and drinking water, allowing the astute class to circumnavigate the globe without needing to surface.